Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of Camping Corner. Hello, America. It's your favorite duo. I don't even, do we even have to introduce ourselves anymore? I'm Mallory. I'm Tony. And you're watching? <laughs> Camping Corner. Da, da, da. We, need, we, we still have to have a theme song. Yeah, we do. But oh, I'm not, right one. I'm not good, but I can't do that. I'll oh, get. technical difficulty. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I'll learn how not to kick the tripod. It'll be fine. Dang it. <laughs> if I wrote a theme song, I'd be in trouble for, like, copyright issues or something. Like, I wouldn't come up with anything original, I'll be honest. I'm just not that good. I got you. Greer, write us a theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Look, write that quick. I know. Now, now <laughs> she's the composer. It had no words. I know. It didn't need words. Okay. <laughs> but how funny is that? She has been promoted from the junior assistant vice grip secondary <laughs> vice president to composer. composer. I like how you look at me like I'm supposed to remember the long title you've given her. <laughs> yeah. You know those little brass things that people put on their desk with their names on them? We change Greer's out every day. Yeah, Greer's is like this long. <laughs> so let's talk about What's the buzz? What's the buzz? Can I get like a buzzer? Can I do that? Like hit it. Bing. Like an easy button. Bing. Yeah. You guys are always wanting things. We are. We're very needy. I can. <laughs> very needy. What's our motivation? <laughs> What's my motivation? We gotta have goals. We gotta have ideas. <laughs> do you remember those that Sprite commercial? Uh. What's my motivation? <laughs> <laughs> so, which would you choose? A toy hauler, which is Option B, or the fifth wheel, which is option A. I'm going fifth wheel. I'm going toy hauler. I want to. I want to take. I want to take my Harley. Yeah, I mean that makes sense for you. And my wife's Harley. I mean. Uh. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything to put in the garage. I I I can always find stuff. You can buy stuff to put in the garage. That's true. No. <laughs> Still going fifth wheel. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm toy hauler kind of, you know. Which would you choose, America? Did, did we already do some? Like, I know that some people have already responded, and most was fifth wheel, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't see any stats. <laughs> I'm telling you the stats. You're not worthy of stats. <laughs> I'm not worthy of stats. <laughs> so, and people have been sending in cool pictures? Yes. So, people have been responding with their pictures of their campsites. Um, for the contest that we had. So that's awesome. Excited to see them. Please keep them coming. Got a puma in its natural environment. <laughs> From Terry Christensen. What model is that, guys? That is um, the 30. Is it the 31 RKQS or the 30? The 30 RKQS, I yeah. think. That's what it is. Look at that. Got the outdoor kitchen. The IU chair. Mm-hmm. You get it. You got it. Like your campsite alone with the IU chair. Yep. Good. And then you have uh, James Baker who sent uh, this picture that says, out and about in South Carolina, hiding out in Montana in South Carolina. And both of those RVs are purchased from Walnut Ridge, yep. the Montana yep. and the hideout. Yep. Hey, by the way, I, I, I'm... Through the pandemic, I'm, I'm I need to get new glasses. My bi my bifocals are a little out. Anyway, you can. I'm trying to figure it. out. Because <laughs> he knows where you're going. What exactly are those tow vehicles right there? <laughs> hey, that is the heartbeat of America, Dan. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> Moving on. Oh my goodness! All right, next poll. Tough call. It, this one actually is a tough call, even for me. I love vintage cars. I do. The Mustang's not my favorite vintage car. Sorry for anybody that I've offended. But I do like that setup. And I would do it. I would say I'm going A again just because the classicness there. So based on the fact that uh, B is even... And I think that's a manufacturer's picture because they're trying to hide the nameplate and stuff like that. Right. But it is a triaxle, and based on the awnings, I'm going to say that's a toy hauler. So I'm going B, toy hauler again, 
and that looks like that might be a GM product as well. That's a that's a GMC truck. Very clearly from the front. Greer, who apparently must be a GM fan because she's picking all the uh, the GM stuff. Yeah, if I did it, this this would not happen. Ready, Tony, for around the web? Around the web. You know, and we need little. We like need an intro music into each segment. <laughs> Dan Greer. is going to hate us. Now that we have a composer. We're going to? <laughs> Dan already hates us enough. <laughs> America, you should hear the bad things Dan says to us when the camera's not rolling. <laughs> They're not going to believe you. We did a Facebook Live one time. But it was just one time. Yep. That was like pulling teeth. <laughs> I saw this picture uh, a couple weeks ago, and I thought it was hysterical. I saw, okay, so the other day we were driving to my parents' house and somebody had like a big bush, like a giant bush in their front yard and they had this exact same thing with like a mask around it and two eyeballs and I didn't, I didn't really realize what I was like looking at at first and my husband was talking to me and I just was dead silent. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to focus on the fact of what I just saw was a mask, a mask around on a bush, bush with two eyes. So it's cute to see this now in camper yeah. form. I, it's, it's, I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> I love it. I would have made the, those googly eyes, though. They would have to be, like, going different directions. Like all cattywampus. Yeah, because they're, they're googly eyes, so yeah. they've got to be that way. The next picture I really like. So is it Daniel Tarwater came up with an idea for a pull-out storage in his pass-through of his travel trailer, which mm -hmm. I think is really cool. So you can build something. To improve that. Yep. RVers are very innovative. They are. They are. And I can't disagree. If you need something in the middle of that pass-through storage, that can be pretty inconvenient sometimes. Yep. So, kudos to you, Daniel. I and like it. And most of our wives won't fall for the, hey, I really need that. Can you crawl in there and get that? <laughs> just little feet, like, sticking out. I just send my small children in. Yeah, I don't, I don't have small children anymore. I have a 13-year-old that's my size. I'll let you borrow one. <laughs> Mau Mau, send your kid over here. I lost something in my past. I've got three to spare. <laughs> okay, so speaking of children, though, this is stinking adorable, and we're working on building our house. Can I I want to convince one of my kids to let me do this. That, that's super cool. That That is. I love it. I don't think I'd have to do much convincing with the oldest. I think she'd let me do it. I like the wallpaper, too. I know. Everything about this room is and adorable. And campfire. Yes. Oh, I did not even realize that that was a little campfire. Yeah. That, it's, it's, that's super cool. Very creative. Yeah. I love it. A little, like Dan said, a little mountain wallpaper. Super cute. So, you know what? What? It's time for... G -g 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 gadget corner <laughs> what do we have today tony oh today we have a smart tire pressure monitoring system nice oldest problem scariest problem in the rv industry is having a blowout yep this is a simple device that allows you to not only monitor your tire pressure but it'll also measure temperature because even though the manufacturer suggests that you have the wheel bearings packed yearly mm -hmm. so many of us are pro great procrastinators and we don't do it so the good thing is your tire pressure may not be changing but the temperature may be going up which means you're on the verge of catching on fire yep so this is going to help you with that dan also did a video on this with your trip to gulf shores right on correct okay so is that on youtube it is it's on our youtube channel i'll put a link in the description where you can go watch that and Sorry to cut you off. No, I was just going to tell them to check out the video. Yeah, check out the video. See Dan in, live in person. <laughs> uh, but you can also buy additional ones. So if your tow vehicle does not have tire pressure monitoring, you can use the same system to not only monitor your tire pressures and wheel temperatures on the trailer that you're towing, but you can also do it on the tow vehicle to make sure you're not having an issue with that. Well, look at that. See, didn't know that. We are here for your safety and whoever yes. and whoever picks our gadgets. Yeah, has Greer been picking the gadgets? 
Sean. Oh, Sean. Okay. Sean. Sean. Look at that. Sean, our arts manager. Sean. That makes sense. Yes. I'm right. I'm right. Yes. Good job, Sean. <laughs> nice job, Sean. <laughs> We're proud. Perfect. <laughs> See Sean, our parts manager, in the parts store for your smart tire pressure monitoring system. And now a word from our sponsors. What the what? What the what? Who do you? Okay, the first one. Ronald McDonald got himself a camper. Or the Hamburglar. <laughs> the Hamburglar stole. <laughs> stole this camper. Yeah. <laughs> Cute as a button, oh my gotta God, love adorable. it, creative, you know, again, every, it seems like every episode I allude to when somebody's pulling into the campground and everybody's watching, just imagine as that's pulling into the campground, how, how many of us chunky guys are going, guess it's time to get the grill going. <laughs> I want to know, these people, and not just the hamburger one, but anybody that has cute little RVs like this and redoes them, you have to be a social person because... Everybody's at your campsite, probably. Yeah, you have to be. Talking to you about it. I also want to shake some of these people's hand because whichever, I'm going to, and, and I know what happens when you assume, I'm going to assume that this may have in fact been the husband's idea or the, the male of the, the situation. At what point and how exactly did they can? Because I know when I start some projects, my wife's leaning over me going, yeah, that's not good. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Just get that out of your mind. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So do you suppose they do it on the down low and then go, ta-da? <laughs> Something. I don't know. I mean, if Derek told you he wanted you to, just came to you with the idea and said, I want to paint our camper so it looks like a hot dog. Yours is longer, so you can right, I see over. where you're going with that. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to make it look like a, a, a hot dog with ketchup and relish on it. Yeah, I'm not going to say that I'd allow it. Right. Yeah. But if all of a sudden you just rolled it out of the garage and went, ta-da! You'd still not like it, but then <laughs> no. it's done. Well, then we have to roll with it. Hey, you know what? Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's right. Yep. <laughs> okay. You know Sarah Winchester. Winchester Guns, like she built that crazy house, yep. right? Okay, this is the RV version of that house for me. This, I, so, so you see the the Winchester house, and I see like Harry Potter. Yeah, I yeah, I could see that too. Harry Potter. Maybe that's what they were going for. I just went a lot darker, so. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, it is. I mean, is that an actual slide? That actually slides that's in. That's what I was just wondering. Yeah, I, you can I, see the. It's, yeah, that's got a gap. Yeah, it's, yeah, it slides in. That's super cool. Super cool. It is super cool. God, that thing weighs a ton. Oh, it has to. I like the feel of the fort, like you know what I mean, like the old school fort style up at the top. Like that's not a normal fence. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's I don't for aerody- aerodynamics. <laughs> Get in, Bubba. We're going to Talladega. Got this for downdraft. I like it. It's super cool. Okay. This looks like too much work. I am just going to say. I know a lot of people are in the market for pop-ups, and people enjoy their pop-ups, and kudos. But that's a lot of work to set that thing up. I'm not about it. You know, I would say, honestly... Not mm-hmm. just because we sell it, but I would say I would go with the Clipper 12.0 before I would this, just for the ease of setup. Like, it's yeah. about the same size. Right. But it's so much easier to set up. Like, at least with a normal pop-up, you're going up with, like, maybe a little bit of an out, right? But this is, like, all over the place to me. You'd have to lay down and take a nap after you got set up. Yes. But you know what? I am jealous that they're on the beach. Let alone the fact that you can't enjoy any adult beverages because you've got to climb a ladder <laughs> to get into your camper. Yeah, you're just going to pass out in the sand right below. Yeah, so climbing the ladder to get in or even worse yet, to get out when yeah. nature calls. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably one of the first what the what's that I'm like, nope. Yeah, not no, feeling it. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. What the... <laughs> Is that okay? That's all painted on there. Okay. Yep. Wow. Hundred percent Greer picked it because it has a cat on the side. Yep. 
So that's the, <laughs> this is the crazy cat lady comes to visit. This is Greer's camper. Greer would <laughs> happily drive this. And she fits the crazy cat lady. Would you, Greer? Would you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, dang it, I busted. Yes, I would. <laughs> this is like the female version of in Dumb and Dumber, the first Dumb and Dumber, the <laughs> Mutt Cuts band. Yep. <laughs> if you had a female version. This is the female version of. You know. Smart and smarter. I, I, you know. For Greer, my daughter, she's a, she's gonna be a crazy cat lady. I can already tell. She would absolutely love this camper, and two for the sheer fact that there's a cat on the side. But it, it's yeah. super creative. You gotta admit. It is creative. Create the the creativity. The lattice, the painted lattice down yeah. along the bottom of the skirt. They did a great job with the belt rail, the you know, painting up the door. The amount of detail is crazy. Yeah, it, it's it's absolutely amazing and super. And and I would like to see that pull into the campground. I'd yeah. Be, I'd be I'd have to go look at it. The artistic level is off the charts on that one. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Until they open the door and 700 cats yeah. come running out of it. Yeah. I rescue cats from all over the country. That's going to be my daughter. I love her. That's her goal in life, probably. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Angry cats. Tony, guess what time it is. Who sold, sold it better? better? Who gets to go first this week? Well, since Tony just jumped in last week, was like, "Now I go first, blah 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 blah." We're gonna make Tony go first. Okay. And Tony, you get to pick which one Tony does, A or B. Jump, jump, since you pick, <laughs> I was thinking while I was drinking my coffee. Since you chose B in both of the, you get B since you chose B in both of the polls. Hmm. Oh, son of a. <laughs> This is glamping at its best. You don't even need to talk to sell this one. Well, yeah, you would, because the price tag that had come along oh, yeah. with this monstrosity. <laughs> so this is probably 45 foot because it's tag axle. You know, obviously it's a diesel. Look at the beautiful, look at the, the glass side views, the absolute incredible views out over your porch down over the campground as you look down on all the little people in the campground. <laughs> Hello, peasants! <laughs> Kiss my ring. <laughs> super cool. It, it is. I mean, no matter how you slice it, it's super cool. You know, traveling down the road, you got a, obviously a great big power awning, awning over the door, plus all the cool sounds that the diesels make, you know, the psh, all that cool stuff. It's got it all. I mean, the side patio alone. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And that side patio is power, so it's not like you have to do it by hand because, you know, uh, okay, push the button and I put mean, the patio down. Like you said, though, with price tag, I would expect to not have to do it by hand on oh, this yeah. one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, it, yeah, you got to admit, super cool, full body paint, big pass-through storage. You know, something you would see, like, at the racetrack or something, this would, you know, that kind of coach, but it's gorgeous. It is. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful coach. Let's see what A. It, it's isn't it funny? It's almost harder. It's it's almost harder to do the ones that the are like one? yeah the pretty yeah. ones because. Well, Mallory, let's just see what A. Let's brings see in. what A blessed us with. Oh, <gasps> okay. This is is this an actual airstream? This is gorgeous. Okay, so. I'm gonna. Th I think it's an airstream, right? I think so. Yeah. I, I think so. They're, they're, at different times were a couple different manufacturers, right. but. Right. So we're gonna say that this is an airstream. It's gorgeous. I mean, even look at the woodwork on the inside that you can see, through the door and the windows. Nice and polished. Look, you can't even barely you can barely tell where the sky ends and begins because it like blends in with the top of the camper. No, this thing's pretty. I'm not. I'm not selling it. I'm buying it. I wonder if those create a road hazard. Like if you're if yours is that shiny and you're going down the road and the sun is shining off that to other oh. motorists. 
Yeah, so I, I, I have a friend that a few years ago, he's an over the road truck driver and the company that he drives for mm -hmm. went to the trailers that have the real shiny rear doors on the semi trailers. Right. And at one point was talking about the complaints that, that motorists give because when the sun's in the right position, it reflects off that like a mirror. Yeah. The other thing is about this particular, and the fact that they polish these, some people take the time to polish them. Mm -hmm. Here's my problem with that. You spend 80% of your time, it's like Harley owners, not me as a, as a Harley owner, because my bike gets a bath like every, well, my bike gets a bath when it rains on it. Okay. So I don't wash my bike, that's just not my thing. Um, and it's kind of a joke that everybody thinks that's the funniest thing, that I don't wash or polish or shine anything. And the reason I don't is all my friends that ride that do that, we ride for four hours and then they spend another two hours wiping down, shining, polishing, cleaning bugs off and cleaning their bike. So to have an Airstream like this, you spend 50% of the time that it you've been in the camper trying to get it back to looking like that. Yeah. So yeah. That's, way too, that's way too much work, I, I think. Plus, who leaves the door open? Think of how many bugs are inside. I it, think Tony is trying to undersell your know. cell to make his better. Put a screen up on the door. <laughs> I mean, look. Look at all that. No. With the money that she saved buying that over yours, she could pay somebody to shine it every week. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you want to bet? That's your Airstream can be yeah. over. Look, look up, because based on the tail of that, that's an that is definitely a, a vintage Airstream. You just hire a little neighbor kid. Yeah. I've got three kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four, and you think I would turn them loose to polish that? <laughs> do you know it's okay? Dude, tie your shoes. Speaking of making your kids do stuff, so when we were getting ready, the camper getting ready to live in it. The couch trailer trash. <laughs> right. The couch had a bunch of dog hair when you make it out into a bed because it's just cloth. But when you fold it up, it's the leathery type of material, right? Well, it was driving me crazy all the dog hair. So I had a couple lint rollers, and they were like, "Can we lint roll the couch?" And I was like, "Yeah." So they were like ten minutes into it, and they're like, "Mom, we can't get up all the dog hair." I was like, "Just keep trying." <laughs> It kept them busy for a solid 45 minutes, and it was amazing. You got to take what you can get sometimes. No, I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I don't know how many times I've asked, you know, one of my kids, hey, can you help me do something? And 10 minutes into it, I'm like, you know what, just let me do it. Oh, yeah, I've been You there. just stand here and watch. Yeah, you're messing it up. Yeah. <laughs> don't you have someplace better to be? <laughs> get out of my hair! Hey, you know what? That concludes our episode. That com concludes our episode. It does. I think we're done. It's been fun again. As always. We'll see you next week, guys. Woohoo! See you guys! Bye.